Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to install the latest version of Ubuntu, the Linux operating system, on Windows 10, Windows 11, or any other version of Windows you have in the computer. We will be installing the virtual box first, and then in the virtual box, we will install the Ubuntu. So for that, open any of your favorite browser, and here we need to type virtual box. Now please make sure once you type virtualbox you're opening this website virtualbox.org. Once you click on that, a window will appear like this and you just need to click on download virtualbox 6.1. You will find virtualbox 6.1 platform packages. Since we are using Windows version so we just need to click on Windows host and a 100 MB file will be downloaded and you just need to open it and install it. Once you install it, the icon will appear on your desktop just like this. In this Windows 11 computer, I have installed Windows 10. To install Ubuntu, we need the ISO of Ubuntu. So for that, here at the very top in the address bar, you just need to type Ubuntu download. Now again, we only have to go to ubuntu.com website and once we click on that, we have this Ubuntu 20.04 TLTS or Ubuntu 21.10, which is the latest version. So we will be installing the latest version, the Ubuntu 21.10. Now as far as the system requirements are concerned, 2 GHz, 4 GB RAM, 25 GB of space, that's it. So you just need to click on download let me show you what is the size of the Ubuntu. So it will be somewhere around 3 GB. Once you have downloaded, you just need to click on this Oracle virtual box and here we need to click on new and from here we need to give a name Ubuntu 11.10 and since it's a Linux operating system then we will leave it as it is and it will be 64-bit. Most of us were using were using 64-bit. If you do not know which version of Windows you're using, take a bet on 64-bit. Once you do that, click on Next. Now, the recommended size. So currently, the recommended memory size is 1024. Just make sure you are in the green area here. We should not go to the red side. It should be always in the green side. So I'm giving 3 GB of RAM to this Ubuntu version and I'll click on next and here we don't have to make any changes the recommended size of the hard disk is 10 GB so create a virtual hard disk now please make sure that you do not make any changes here and just select create a virtual hard disk now once you are done just click on create now here in VDI virtual disk image we don't have to make any changes we just need to click on next this is the hard disk file type and please make sure you don't make any changes we just have to leave VDI virtual box disk image now storage on physical hard disk here dynamically allocate is fine so I'll click on next so the 15 GB has been created I'll just click on create now once you see the window like this we just need to do a right click and then we just need to click on settings and in the settings we have this general system display so in the general we have given the name and the type is Linux and the version is 64 bit which we have already done it in advanced we have snapshot folder we don't have to make any changes now shared clipboard this is something you need to make it bi-directional because let's say if you want to copy a link or copy a file from your main computer from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer to Ubuntu this by direction will help you now same with drag and drop I'll make it by directional because let's say if I want to move my files to Ubuntu it will be done easily so once you have selected by directional on both clipboard and drag and drop we will go to description here you can mention the description I don't need it we don't need it once this is done we just need to go to system we have already given the memory 
you can increase or decrease just make sure you are in the green side and here boot order is absolutely fine you don't have to make any changes in the processor you can give the processor how many processor you want to give it so it is up to you if you have a very powerful CPU processor octa core or hexa core you can give two to three two to four CPU so once you are selected from here display you can give them video memory what I would recommend not to make any changes here and we need to go to this storage section now in storage section we have this empty one so I'll just maximize it here you see this empty one and at the top right corner we have this optical drive so we just need to click on here and choose a disk file and we need to go to the location where exactly you have downloaded so I have downloaded in my ISO folder I'll select this ISO and I'll click on open once you're done with this we will just click on OK so now one once we are done with the settings we just need to click on start and Ubuntu installation is going to be started now so here we are getting four options Ubuntu, Ubuntu safe graphics so with the help of arrow key what I would recommend to select Ubuntu safe graphics and then you need to hit enter after two to three minutes you will get this window where you have the welcome screen and from here we can change the language like English, Spaniel or any other language which you need I'll just keep it English and here I can see try Ubuntu or install Ubuntu so so we will click on install Ubuntu and here the keyboard layout whatever the keyboard layout English US English UK once you are satisfied with the keyboard layout settings we just need to click on continue and here what apps would you like to install to start with normal installation minimal installation download updates while installing Ubuntu to fasten the process what I would recommend to uncheck this one and normal installation will contain web browser utilities office software games and media players if we go with the minimal installation it will only have web browser and basic utilities so you can select any of them and we just need to click on next and then we just need to click on continue now you will get this window installation type this computer currently has no detected operating system what would you like to do erase disk and install Ubuntu so this this is going to be installed in the virtual disk so we don't have to worry about anything we just need to select erase disk and install Ubuntu we just need to click on install now if you continue to changes listed below will be written to the disk so it's a kind of a warning and we just need to click on continue now from here you can select your location once you have selected the location just click on continue so here we need to give the name and computer name here I can see when I have entered the name it has automatically taken the computer's name and from here we can choose the password so you can enter the password login automatically require my password to login keep this checked and then we need to click on continue now it has started copying files so it's almost finishing the copying files which is great now it has started installing system the whole installation procedure might take 10-15 minutes so please be patient now it says installation is complete you need to restart so we just need to click on restart now now it says please remove the installation medium and then press enter so we just need to press enter and here we go we can see the Ubuntu welcome screen here I can see my user account I'll just click on it and I'll enter the password and hit enter in the virtual box we have successfully installed Ubuntu the latest version and here we have browser and lot of other things now if I it's not coming in full screen mode so for that we just need to click on full screen and it still it doesn't show like that if you hover the cursor at the bottom you will find like this so you just need to click like that 
Now to make it full screen we just need to go to device and here we need to select insert guest edition CD image so we just need to click on that and the moment you do it you will find VBOX GA contains software intended to be automatically started would you like to run it so I'll just click on run authentication is required so I'll enter the password and I'll click on authenticate so now it's going to install the guest edition for Linux in this manner we can have the full screen I'll show it to you now it says please return to close this window I'll just hit enter I can see the Ubuntu update I will update it later Now I'll just click on this cancel and here we will just power off this machine and click on OK and then we will select this and click on start now here we go since we have restarted and installed the guest edition now you can see I have the full screen mode if you want to go back to your windows you just need to hover the cursor at the bottom right here and you will have this window you just need to minimize like this and then you can go back here now we will check are we able to copy and paste and drag and drop or not so here I'll just type google.com and I can see it has opened it so what I'll do I'll just copy this link and in the notepad or somewhere else I'll just try to paste it and here we go I can see it it has pasted so you can enjoy Ubuntu on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer like this I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and please leave a comment in the comment section I'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day